has known its winters. So each year we start this feast in darkness, as our world started in darkness. Long before the city above us raised its towers to the sky, men sought shelter in these caverns. In those days, these tunnels were dark places, and those who dwelt here dwelt in fear and isolation. <laughs> a land of despair, with the sound of footsteps coming down a tunnel, with the sounds of terror, where men reach for knives and rocks, and worse, at the sound of another man's footsteps. This was a land of lost hope, of twisted dreams, but at last, a few people learned to put aside their fears. And each of us grew stronger, those who took the help and those who gave it. One community, one family. Sometimes we tend to forget this. And so we meet each year to give thanks to those who have helped us. And to remember that even the greatest darkness is nothing so long as we share the light. Okay, we were in such a hurry I forgot to give you the rest of you your instructions. There's a matchbook on each table. Fire Marshal, please don't light your candles yet. Uh, light the tall candle in the middle of the table, and then everybody light their candles off of those. Do not draw them back to you. Put them right into the candle holder.
table. I'm sorry we had more tables than holders. Please extinguish your candles and, and save them. Uh, take them home. I'm sorry. The centerpiece is still there, and, and somebody will get to take the centerpiece home. But um, we can't have the candles hand held. Thank you. say, sit down and shut up, Jesse. We need to write to them. I know you all can write letters like, bats out of hell. <laughs> and if you could do this for us, it would be really wonderful. Let them know how you feel. Let them know we need that funding to remain in place. And while you're at it, mention the arts for crying out loud. Let them know. Because without it, we're just drowning, going deeper and deeper. Thanks. I'm going to give you over to Sarah now. I first want to take one moment to tell you that this has been the most awesome experience I've ever had. is much more than just a three-day convention. It's a gathering of people that are so dedicated to life and to all the wonderful things that many people do take for granted. And I want to thank all of you on behalf of my board of directors, the volunteers that help uh, promote the services of Laguna Shanti to over 350 clients, and on behalf of the clients that aren't here today, to thank you. Um, I just want to reiterate what David said. Um, HIV and AIDS has reached a pandemic. We are no longer in an epidemic here. Um, it is no longer just affecting one particular segment of our population. It's infiltrating every single segment of the population. Um, it is your commitment here this weekend that has been awesome and just overwhelming. And I know that all of you come from communities all over the country and the world. Um, I think that all of you are certainly aware of the importance of ed education and empowerment 